If you need to make your team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Remember to use my discount code ELI to enjoy 6% off. Most of you guys know U7Buy for its FC coin service. Apart from FC coins, U7Buy also provides more game services like top-up mobile games, gift cards, game keys, and more. Click my link in my description and enjoy the cheapest price now. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Are you guys tired of playing the same meta tactics over and over and over again? I know, I'm sorry, I post meta tactics. But sometimes you want to have a little bit of fun. And this time we'll be able to have some fun with the 4-1-2-1-2 Nero. Which allows you to play quick Tiki Taka play. But with a twist. And I'll show you guys what I mean. This is my little Prem team I've been using. Uh, with some extra players. Some Dutch players to try to complete that objective. Uh, that Van Persie objective. And I did use these exact same tactics. I mean go to them actually. Where are they at? Um, these exact same tactics in the cup I literally won the cup within a few hours I think like an hour and a half two hours something like that maybe even no yeah like an hour and a half something like that maybe two hours tops uh, won that cup easy like fast and then I went into division one started wrecking it in there too so I'll, I'll be back into the elite division in the next few games and that's where I've been using this exact team um, now Let's go over, well, before I go over the tactics, keep in mind, I don't want to say this. No, you know what? Let's go over the tactics first, and then I'll go over who goes where, because this is going to be very, very important. Let me go over that first. All right. This looks funny, right? I know. You guys are like, what? That's a secret? Yeah, this is it. The reason this tactic works so well is this right here, the press on heavy touch, and the players in the box. That's so high. Just with that, it makes everything else extremely balanced, but it allows you to be aggressive defending, and it allows you to be aggressive in the final third. So no, you won't have a lot of players moving out of position in the midfield area. You'll just have a lot of players moving out of position when you get into your opponent's box to score cutbacks, um, the extra pass into the goal, crosses, whatever you need to get done. It just allows your strikers to make more aggressive runs in the final third because of this players in the box so high. And the press on heavy touch whenever they're trying to hit you on the counterattack because you do have this midfield three right here. Sorry. This CDM and the right center mid and left center mid. It just allows you to congest the midfield area so much and most people want to play out of the midfield. Whenever they're playing out of the back, they want to go straight into the center. That's when you steal it, hit them on a the quick counter, boom, win. All right. Let's go over the tactics. Uh, press on heavy touch with 50 depth 50. Leave it there. That's both consoles, old gen and new gen. Uh, press on heavy touch, not negotiable. You have to try it with this formation. If not, everything else will not work. Just try it out. If you don't like it, then then just don't use it then. But I recommend using it. At least use it for like three to four or five games. You're going to see it's so crazy. I, I really apologize for bringing the press on heavy touch out. Um, and most people are going to start playing with this. Or maybe they don't. I don't know. I don't want to toot my own horn. Hopefully they don't. And only us that watch this learn about it. Uh, because I hate playing against any press. And this makes it even more aggressive. But you have to, have to, have to, have to have it on. So you can actually be successful with this formation. With 50 because you're playing on that press on heavy touch. It just allows the midfield area to be opened up a little bit more your center mids and allows you to press a little bit more wider even though you're playing with a narrow formation like this with depth 50 just keep it neutral i mess with 60 i mess with 70 i even mess with 40 uh any iteration like around 44 55 um all throughout the cup while i was playing it and then into division one and i just felt 50 was the perfect sweet spot whenever you're playing the press on heavy touch because it just allows your players to be more neutral they won't move out of position as much only when your opponent is starting to hit you with like a sprint or like a step over speed boost or some type of stupid R1 dribble, that's when you can actually press and get into your opponent's face and steal the ball. That is the whole reason why this is so effective. Now, this is the only thing you can change. This is completely up to you. I like playing balance, balance, always have, always will. That's just my cup of tea. I don't really like direct passing. I don't like the way my players move out of position way too much or my strikers way too much. It just, I play more slow. That's just me. That's just how I like to play. I like to play more pass and go, pass and go, not a lot of skill moves. Do a lot of ball rolls and fake shots. 
uh, maybe a step over here and there. If you like to do a lot of skill moves or you like to play quicker, tiki taka play more than me, then switch to direct passing. I recommend starting off like this first, and then if you feel like this is too slow, then do direct passing. But start off here, then direct passing. With 50, leave it there. The reason why is because it allows the right center mid and the left center mid with the custom instructions that I have in a little bit. Uh, I'll show you. It allows them to kind of drift wide a little bit more to act like a right mid, left mid at times whenever they are getting congested in the midfield area. It just allows them to open up a little bit more and give you an extra passing lane wider opposed to being in the middle. And then the players in the box, this is the this is the most important thing. Seven players in the box, non-negotiable. You have to have this because when you have this, it makes both your strikers, these two, get into the box, your cam get into the box, Right mid get into, or right center mid get into box and the left center mid get into box is allows it allows your left back and your right back to go a little bit more forward, um, and then it allows your CDM to actually be right in front of the semicircle in the middle of the park, so it allows you to start the press faster if you need it. But it just allows so many players going in the box. You're gonna have five literally, and then you're gonna have two recycle players on the wings and one recycle player in the center mid, so you can do anything you want. You can do. Recycle the play to do an extra pass, uh, finesse off from outside the box, uh, crosses, whatever you need to get done. However your play style is, it gives you more options. Um, but yeah, do th that's not negotiable. Players in the box, corners of free kicks, that is negotiable. You can do whatever you want on there. I've been trying three and three. Eh, they're okay, but you can do one and one if you get hit on the counters a lot. Now, before I get into the uh, who to play where, because it's very, very important, go ahead and hit that like and hit that subscribe button if I ever helped you guys out. Uh, there's like about 90 to 85 percent of you guys that aren't subscribed. What are you doing? Just subscribe. It helps me. It helps you. And happy days. Everybody wins. Uh, anywho, let's get into the tactics. Meta, meta, meta center backs, especially since you're playing a little bit of a press. Um, just get meta, meta, meta center backs. The best center backs you can get, especially if they have some type of passing play style. Uh, I like to play a more nimble center back and a more aggressive one. So I like to play here Truda and then uh, Akanji. Just to get in my opponent's face, just to have a little bit of everything. So I can dribble with here Truda. If I have to, and Akanji, I'll just send the ball to somebody else. So just make sure you get meta, meta, meta center backs. Right back, left back. They very, 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 excuse me, very, very important in this formation. They have to be able to do a little bit of everything. Dribble, shoot, crosses, defend, a little bit of everything. So just make sure you get meta, meta fullbacks. That's non-negotiable. You can do Udogi, Grimaldo, Alfonso Davies on this side, Pedro Porro. Reese James, Cafu, whatever on the right side. Just make sure you get very, very, very good fullbacks because those are your outlet players on the wings. Now, CDM, try to put an actual CDM here. Uh, high defensive work rate. Doesn't matter if it's a high, high. You can do high, high or you can do medium, high. Uh, just make sure you have some type of high defensive work rate here and they have some type of defensive play styles. Uh, so for like me, I have Kulin. I think he has like, I don't know if he has anticipate, but I know he has block and he has maybe intercept. I'm not sure. But he has some good defensive play style, so he's always in the right place at the right time when I need him there. So just make sure you got a very good, very good CDM here. Uh, you can play whoever you like. You know who your CDM is. Now, this is very, very important. Depending on how you line up for chemistry purposes, maybe you line up with two center mids and one winger, or you play with three center mids. I recommend putting an actual center mid on the right side, but more of a box-to-box -box center mid. So a high, high work rate or a high medium. But that has like a long ball play style or a tiki taco or ping pass, something like that. Like for me, I have Ruard or whatever her name is, but she has a long ball. Um, so she can always unlock my strikers with through balls, over the top through balls. Or she can unlock my, my fullbacks by sending them on basically through balls to the wings. Or just switching the play from one side of the, one side of the field to the other side of the field. Uh, so it's very, very important. And then for me, I have a winger on the left side because this is more of my attacking player because I do like to attack to my left. I have Olise, so he's a little bit of a better dribbler on the ball. He can do a little bit of everything, skillful, dribble. I do quick one-twos with him in my left CDM or with my left back, and I just unlock him, make him join on the attack. He could dribble a little bit for me. But if you want to put another center mid here, go ahead and put another center mid. You can put another box-to-box -box center mid. But if you do that, make sure you put one that's really good at passing, which is the right side, and one that's good at doing finesse shots or travelas from outside the box. So like a Gundogan will be perfect right here because he could just cut in, do a finesse shot. That Claudia Pina, she'll be good here too, even though she's a cam type of player. But she can shoot from outside the box, which just unlocks more opportunities for you to score goals. And your cam, I actually played Timo Werner here. So he acts like a quote-unquote shadow striker, like a false nine type of striker. Um, put somebody here that can play like that. 
like a third type of striker, but that can have some type of passing play styles too, or finesse shot, Travellos, whatever. With Timo Werner, the way I do it is I'll do quick one twos with my center mids or my strikers. Um, I'll make my strikers kind of drift wide, and then Timo Werner will either take one of those their positions, or I'll do like a power shot from outside the box, and then let my strikers get the rebounds because the goalie will most likely rebound it. Uh, keep that in mind. You'll find your own strategy depending on who you play as your camp. Just make sure they're a good playmaker and very good dribbler of the ball. Have either a five star weak foot or five star skills, either one, either or. And then I have Rashford and Miyadema. Miyadema, I don't know how to say her name, but she has that first touch plus. So I do a ping pass to her. Um, she'll stop it. Uh, unlocks my right striker, which is Rashford. And Rashford with his pace, send him a quick through ball, ball roll, goal. Just make sure you have two fast pacey strikers, some type of shooting play styles or running play styles or first touch play style, something like that. It kind of depends on your liking on your strikers because you can do a little bit of everything, target man, aerial, or nimble, um, physical, whatever you want to play. Just have a mixture of both. Enjoy it. Have some fun with this game if you possibly can. Let Just try try new things, you know, try new things. Goalies are supposed to be comes across sweep and keep. Sweep keep. I don't know why he's not like that. Uh, both center backs stay back while attacking. Right back stay back. That is it. Left back stay back. That is it. Don't put overlap. Because if you have overlap, it just opens them up a little bit too much. And then it takes away from having the press. And you want the back four to be a back four, not a back two. You don't want the overlap to actually make your fullbacks go forward unless you make them go forward. You don't want the AI to do it for you. Uh, your CDM is cup passing lane. Stay back while attacking. Cover wing, believe it or not. Let the cover wing because depending on what side you're pressing on, it just allows them to be in that area and press. So it helps out a lot. Just keep that in mind. I know everybody plays cover center, and I'm used to playing cover center too. But once I started experimenting with cover wing with these instructions, with the press, it just allows them to be more aggressive on the half spaces as well and prevents the counterattacks. Right center mid, default everything, and cover wing for the exact same reason and balance attack because I have the seven players in the box uh, instruction, so it makes them go forward. Left center mid, same exact thing. Balance everything, cover wing. It just allows them to do a little bit of everything, honestly. Your cam, stay forward. That is it. That way they won't th they won't drop too, too deep. They will still drop a little deep to pick up the ball, and then you hit him with the counter. He is the one who's going to start off the whole counter attack. Uh, that's why he is my capitan on this team. So just make sure you put a very, 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 very good player here. Um, wait, did I mention that you have to put a very, very, very good player here? Because you do. And then both strikers are going to be stay central, get in behind. That is it. Uh, that just makes both of their attacking AI start doing something. They're either going to drift. They're not going to drift wide, but they're going to take turns on who's going to run into where at what time and which half space are they going to abuse. And then they're going to leave the other one exposed so that the other one can do something. So like if I send Miyadima, um, like a quick ping pass, she'll stop it with her first touch plus and then Rashford is clear. So when Rashford is clear, I can send it to Rashford. Or if not, Werner is going to take over the space that Rashford left over. And then you can just do quick one twos with Werner, and then Rashford will just push your opponent's defensive line back, and then you can score a few goals, and then happy days. But yep, those are the custom and ta custom tactics and instructions for the four one two one two narrow. Sorry, I went on a longer rant, but I had to explain everything before I posted it. Uh, that way you can understand where I'm coming from while we're playing a certain way. And happy days, everybody can win. Uh, hopefully, this is a double sided thing, a double sided sword, because I wish. That a lot of people will watch this, but then I don't wish a lot of people will watch this because the pressing tactics. I hate playing against pressing tactics, but sometimes you got to join the dark side, right? But I do hope a lot of people watch this because I do want people to get help, and uh, that way my videos can get a little bit more love, you know? Uh, but I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, be safe, guys. Peace.